Hey everybody, Not so Frog here. It's been a while, I guess, since the last time I posted. That's because spring is finally here where I live. It's finally warming up. All the snow is gone. There's so much snow here. Finally gone, so I was able to work on the airsoft field. So I've just been at that for a while. Because sooner or later we're going to start up airsoft and it's going to be quite fun. But anyways, um, I've also been working on a shorter project and that this, that's what that is, it is a double-barreled shotgun. If you remember my earlier video, I made a triple-barreled spring-powered shotgun. It worked, but it was really iffy. Like, the whole system itself was just not that smart. Uh, the way that it worked, you didn't have a trigger like these, you want to. Instead, you had it and you hold it like this, and you, you flick it down with your thumb. Like a ballistic knife. The system's based on a ballistic knife. So, first of all, accuracy issues, flicking it down. Second of all, brakes. That shuttle with the pin going through, the pin would always slam into the end of it and break. So yeah, this is basically just an upgraded version of what I've already made, and I'm really impressed with this thing. I really, really did like how the spring shotgun worked, I just didn't like the gun part of the spring shotgun. The springs themselves were great. This, it's double barrel format, it reminds me of Mad Max a bit. You got the double barrels like this, you can shoot one, two, I used my middle finger and my first finger, because there's a bit of a gap between them. So one, two, or you can go two at once. The trigger pull is very hard, and that is because I didn't uh, want to go through the process of putting safety on this, and I believe that a hard trigger pull is a good safety, because hey, <laughs> bootleg guns, so that's how it works. But yeah, no, I'll bring the camera up, and I'll get a bit closer to the details and show you what I mean by the smartest build to date. So as you can see, it's not the prettiest thing ever. This is ugly, this is ugly, this is ugly. External rubber band for the triggers, pretty ugly. But it is very cool though, without a doubt. The system itself I'm very proud of. As you can see, there's bolts here, and this is holding together the whole system, or the whole handle, sorry. And the handle is made from five layers of six millimeter plexiglass. And I just chose that because it just makes things simpler. You can see these here. This is based on a system, like a trigger system from a brake barrel air gun. Uh, it's a two-stage, so this pulls down that there, and you can see the sear on the end of it, just like that. Same thing on the other side, although this trigger's more like ahead of it. This one gives you a bit more leverage, so it's a bit uh, better of a pull. Um, these are in here, and if you remember on the last gun that I had, there was a flick system because it's kind of hard to get that spring working. This time we still have the aluminum shuttles, but they're actually attached directly to the spring and not just free-floating like the other ones. That robs a bit of the velocity, but it's a lot more reliable and a lot more secure, so I'm totally fine with it. And yeah, I guess I'll go and I'll show you how to load this thing. Now, if you remember from the last video, the loading process for the triple barrel shotgun was really not that great. Um, it still used the ramrod cock system, which is good enough for me, it's just the simplicity I like. But uh, it had it a different way, and you twist it and so on. Really uncomfortable. This one, all you do, put this on the table, put the ramrod in, I hope you can see that, and then just push down, click, solid, second one, same thing, solid, there you go, both barrels are loaded, it's that easy. So I've got this loaded up here, I'm just going to put these two little paper shells, they're filled with probably, uh, I'd say 20 BBs each, I'm just going to put them in the barrel like so, you got to get them just so they're tight enough so that they don't fall out of the barrel. So you might want to take your ramrod and just lightly push them down. Not too far, but just enough. Here's the other barrel. That should be good. So anyways, I'm going to take a shot at both of these. And the first shot will just be right there. Second shot right here. Now I've got this loaded up, and I'm just going to drop two of these wax slugs in here. Yeah. Alright. And... Now, I got these, uh, <laughs> let's call them buckshot loads. These are like two times the size of the normal load. And I'm going to put one into each barrel. I'm going to take a step farther away, and I'm going to shoot that milk jug and the stack of three cans. Nice. Okay, how about that one? 
nice. So as you can see, it is very, very functional. Um, it works just a lot greater than the other shotgun. I'm really impressed with it. I'll admit the trigger pull is brutal right now, but that's just, I don't like that you can get around that. These springs are very, very intense. And for a hobbyist like me, I don't think I can manufacture some hair trigger springs for this sort of thing without risking the safety. But, you know, I really like it. It's um, definitely not a pretty you know, sawed-off shotgun. It looks like, I don't know, kind of crap, but I really do like it anyways. Just the fact that it is a double barrel shotgun, that it works like that. And, yeah, overall, really impressed with it. I love how I designed it. I didn't really go deep into how complex the design is, but for me, it's very complex for my standards. And I'm very, very proud that it even worked at all, because it did take a lot of work and probably took about three weeks just to get it to function properly. But yeah, I really hope you like this video. I know I really like this gun. I hope you do too. I'm definitely going to be putting it to use when we start with Airsoft. I think this will be one of my most practical weapons so far. And I really hope you'll enjoy watching that video too. If you like this video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more like this, and if you want to stay tuned for the, some of my newer videos where I'll be doing some Airsoft stuff and recording with hopefully a GoPro or something, uh, then subscribe. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching this video. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. That's it for today. Bye-bye.